Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Arc Plaid with me, Clectic Andrew the Gamer. And here on PlayStation, we are playing Arc Plaid. And if you are following along in this LP of, of mine, if you're following along on some system of your own, some digital format of your own, some way, uh, make sure before you go to Needle, go back to Tuval. We want to go to visit Ark's house one more time. Because. Back here at Ark's house, at the mailbox, you find a letter. Dear Ark, you have retrieved the Power Stone from the Earth Guardian. Good work. By now you have gathered the six that will see you through to the journey, end of your journey. Treat them well, for without them, it would be impossible to achieve the goal. The next Guardian is in Needle, where the tournament is held. Win the tournament and gain the prize. Keep a wary eye on Rock Toll. The Tremont Promoter, however, the man is not to be trusted. I leave you now with a special gift that may help you in the tournament. Good luck, my son, Yashua. Received Romancing Stone number two, yes. So that will give us a total of three Romancing Stones now, at this point in the story. The road to Enlightenment is seldom smooth. You should read this at places we've already been. If something has changed, you may find the treasures. Echo, what do you have to say? Items can be used by, for yourself, another character, or your enemy. But you have to be careful because some monsters might catch the item you, that you throw. Once the throw level becomes two, it's easier to cause more damage. Monsters can catch items and throw them back? That's good to know. I'll be more careful. Yeah. That's what the catch and throw status are for. You should look at Changara's monster book more. A big help. A big help with what? It just looks like a ratty book. No, no, no. Changara put all kinds of good stuff in the book. Secret bad monster information. It could, yeah? I should decide that for myself, thank you. Hi, oh, You're getting a big head, little one. This book will help. Please look, eh? I shall try to make the time, alright? I fight for the honor of my clan. Andal must pay for what he has done. And magic gains levels, the effective range becomes wider. It's possible though unlikely that you may be able to cross the entire battlefield. Woohoo! Yeah. Well, now that we've visited uh, Alate for Odon, to Yokio Forest for the, the Forest Spirit, and Ark's house for the Romancing Stone number two, which we now have three of because we got one, then three. Now we have two. They're separately called Romancing Stone one, two, three, and four. That's why they're saying, like, this is Romancing Stone two, this is Romancing Stone three, this is Romancing Stone four, which we won't see for a while. But however, now we must set off and fly away, come fly away, come fly away. Way away. That's always such a pretty sunset at this area. Now to go to Nido, al along the coast of the northwesternmost continent in the world. Ooh, big looking arena. Very large arena. Like you could fit a couple airships in there, is how big that arena is. Or you could fly a few airships overhead, just have them kind of like display football, car maker, Shinra headquarters, uh, I, I can't think of any other, oh, Umbrella Corp. The battle tournament is held in the arena. Opening ceremonies are about to begin. If you hurry, you may be able to make it. Well, thank you, good sir. Goodbye, Choppin. We will see you again. I don't know where really to go here besides the tournament arena. Now, what will happen here at the courtyard of the arena? Well, we just walk in and kind of enjoy the festivities. We can talk to the people. Oh, wow, honestly, I haven't time have time to chat. Don't you have some sit-ups or shadow boxing to do? I am strong like ox. The weak challengers this year will crawl home like little babies when I finish with them. 
Yeah. Uh, you can also talk to your party members to change party member. Because switch to Kukuru? Yes, switch to Kukuru. Yeah. However, I will want to switch to Paco for this section of the game. Hi. The only thing that concerns me about the tournament is Tony Dupatoli's De mean uppercut. Okay. Uh, what else could we have check it? Whoa. I have had my eye on that window up for many years now. I will have it. Sure, buddy, sure. Uh, check this gong. Hey, an herb and a gong, that's a new one, but I'll take it. Hmm, nothing left here. Really, nothing at all. Nothing at all. What's it? Oh, that's from Nico B. Uh, okay, I cannot walk behind the statue. Don't play around now. I'm not in the mood for games. Don't play around, I'm not in the mood for games. Not in the mood. Not in the mood at all. Four times. Five. Six. Bother him. Keep bothering him. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nope. He is not to be bothered. He's not in the mood for games whatsoever. Huh. That big guy walked over here. Uh, no one says anything if you talk to them and your team, your, none of your teammates say anything. It just says switch and do you wish to switch because you can enter this tournament with any of your seven people. You wish to enter the tournament of champions. Yes. Who in your group shall fight in the tournament? And it starts with the first person. Well, it starts with the person you have selected. If you had Ark, it'd be on the first page. If you had Jangara, it'd be on this last page. See, it's, it, it'll go right to your character that you have speaking to the person, I believe. Papa will fight then? Uh, yes. Are you inside? The tournament ringmaster, Rock Rock Toll, will be making the opening speech now. Why am I doing this? Oh, don't worry, Paco. You'll be fine. This is an easy tournament, I'm sure of it. Welcome, one and all, to the Arena of Champions! Why is it spinning? As anyone who hasn't been living under a rock knows, the grand prize in this tournament is the ultra-famous, ultra-cool, ultra-ancient Wind Orb. But you may ask, what is it made of? What is its function? What relevance does it have for me? And just why is the window itself so fabulously mysterious to you, I say? Who cares? It's the prize! Everyone drawing breath covets it simply because it's the fabulous, iridescent, wind orb! Of course, the rules of the tournament required me to mention the potential downside of owning the famous wind orb. But you all must already know that the person or persons who possess the orb may die a sudden and unnatural death. Lest you doubt that warning, let's discuss the history of the orb for a moment. Last possessed by royalty, the entire blue-blooded lineage died out ultra-tragically and ultra-unexpectedly. The mysterious circumstances of their passing left every person of power, fame, and beauty insanely attracted to this iridescent spherical mystery. And so, fools rush in to possess the unpossessable. Is that an Elvis, um, reference? They yearn to relish the relic that holds such a power, and foolishly believe they can tame it. Fortunately, their folly is our gain, for the battle is always Fabulous! The winner of this tournament shall receive the orb! Of course, that leaves the matter of the runner-up. For his or her efforts, the runner-up in the tournament will receive an ultra-handy set of travel luggage. Go, oh, travel away from you. You don't deserve to be here. Not at all. But you're all so excited about that travel luggage. Of course, it's a good running-up position gift. But wait, there's yet one more surprise for today's combatants! Once he's beaten the field of contestants, the new champion must face and defeat the prior champion to claim the orb. Shouldn't that prior champion have already have the orb and have already died from having it? It's gonna be a rockin' good show and it's time to kick it off! Let's go! God, that was annoying. The voice. <laughs> <sighs> 
Okay, Paco! Oh, Paco. Are we Paco? We are Paco. We can chop to everybody again. I'd like to see synchronized face pummeling introduced as an event. <laughs> uh, big man, big, big burly man. Orb is not my goal, I just like to hit people. Hmm. Official, I'm considering recommending a mid tournament stage show to boost times of time. The halftime show. And we talk to you from behind yet, good sir. You're breathing down my neck. Have you had any idea how annoying that is? You're breathing down my neck. It's annoying, 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 annoying. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, yeah. The horse is annoying him. How are you breathing down his neck, Paco? You're shorter than him. I don't know. Are you prepared for the first bout of the tournament? Yes, yes, I guess so. Okay, Paco, what you want to do is basically use your Lion Drum to win this game. Uh, we can take off any items from anyone else we need to put onto Paco. Mm, what I would like to have... Oh, you already have the magic card, okay. Um... Do you need counterattacking? No, you don't need counterattacking. You don't need poison protection. Maybe the armor stone would be good for- no. Maybe the armor stone would be good for Paco to have. So let's get that on him. And let us go into this battle. Ooh, good, he moves first. Pick up- pick the lion drum. Pause wave motion explosion. Now watch, we have 61 MP or AP. We use it. We use, uh... Lion Drum once, gain a level, that's very nice. And wow, they both the ship flute and Lion Drum gain a level, nice. And when we get into the next battle... Well, do we want to talk to anybody first? I'm busy, busy, really busy. Hey, Sword Guy. Sword Guy. I've heard there's five special stones that represent the power of earth, water, fire, wind, and light. Well, I should say that something terrifying will happen while all five are gathered together. Is that true? Really? That's the rumor going around? Osseus Champion is not human. He is like a mysterious, deadly battle machine. Show sympathy for him and he will crush you before you know what hit you. Okay, I'm not going to talk to the official behind his back anymore. Ready for the second battle. Yes, we are. Now, as I said, 61 MP, AP, whatever it is. If we go to Paco, we see that after every battle, maybe just because we leveled up, but I believe every level, every battle we get do in this arena, it will be, all of our stats will be completely restored to full afterwards. So no need to really worry about anything, just do your damage. Do as much damage as you can if that's by way of a spell, use a spell. If it's by way of, uh, attacking, attack. If it's by way of being a face meat shield, go ahead and be a meat shield. Take all those punches to the face and you'll wear them out and you'll win. That's how you win. That's how you win. That's, that's all on you, but, uh, don't worry about it. I'm ashamed that I lost and I peed my pants too. Talk about embarrassing. Yeah, that is embarrassing, dude. Is there anything else to do with this gong at all? Nope, nothing here but a gong. Nothing at all. Why do I keep saying that about the gong? I keep Nico being that gong. He likes to bang on the gong all day, I guess. Okay, no need to set up equipment. Let the guy walk to us. Ready, aim. Fire the drum. Laser drum. Lion laser drum. Whoa, he did a lot of damage to us. Luckily, Paco is equipped with a healing harp if you ever need to heal, so don't worry about that. But for the cost of using two Lion Drums, wow, he's still alive. Go, Paco, go, Paco, you can do- Oh, holy crap, you go. Uh, oh boy, Paco. No, Paco died! Hmm. Well, that was unexpected. I just gained over. Woo! Okay, uh, meet you back here in one moment.
Whoops. Uh, <laughs> yo, we're back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna step back first to uh, avoid his uh, do it first attack. No, I don't think I will avoid his first attack. Well, let's try it. There we go. Now I'll get behind him. And drop, drop him up. We're shooting a laser up your butt, doohickey. Buddy boy. Okay, yeah, let's uh, back up quite a bit and definitely heal. Oh yeah, Tabaka only has 69 HP right now. Level up affected him a little differently this time, but... Good, good. Shoot. Not doing well with the damage, with healing. Um, come on, Paco, you can do it, Paco. Go, Paco. You can do it, Paco. Everyone says so, Paco. You know, I'm gonna put Paco in this corner and keep healing him for a moment until he dodges one of the, the Dark Knight's attacks. So, let's see here. Come on, you have the uh, Fiend statue clip, Paco, now this time. I'm sure you can dodge one more time. And I know a line drum, a second line drum won't destroy him. Won't destroy this Dark Knight. His move goes the same as Paco's. Luckily, Paco blocked his attack, but it's not enough to survive another hit. Come on, Paco, you can do it, buddy. Yeah, dodge! What do you do? Drum in his face! Oh. One more. Did do it. Okay. Oh well. What? Way! Woo! Paco! Woo! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Excuse me. Woo! Excuse me. Celebratory sneeze, of course. Hey, everybody. We're down the finals. Be sure to file your last will and testament to the desk. Just kidding. We don't do that here. I lost. I'm just a wannabe. A big fat loser. The bus ride home is looking pretty bleak, but hey, good luck to you. I think you think I'm a baby man for skipping tournaments, so I'll prepare now for next year. It was good, yeah. Yeah. Nothing in the drum, it's a few verbs. So, nothing to do here, no one says anything interesting, funny. True strength is not from bigger muscles, you know real strength is to train the mind. Wow, Ika, you have competition. This tournament's the toughest, you think? I'll show you tough. Are you prepared to begin the decisive final bout? Ready to the finale. Proceed to the fi final floor. The arena floor. This is the champion from last time? You know, I'm gonna up his up Paco's agility really quick to see if a speed boost will help in any way with dodging or anything that we need. Though I did read on my strategy guide that I'm following mm -hmm. online a little bit that I'm reading for assistance that um, this fight should be easier than the last one. That's also how I knew it first off, right off the bat, to go back to Ark's house to pick up that Romancing Stone really quick before we continued on to Needle. Because otherwise we would have missed that Romancing Stone because, you know, I'm sure somebody knows that, that Ark's father, Yashua, is sending mail to Ark's house. Maybe somebody's intercepting that mail, that sucks. Hey, hey, we won the tournament. Did we get the Wind Orb? Does it matter that we get the Wind Orb? Does any of this really matter? Your skill battle is made. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Are you prepared for the f fight for- Oh, this is the last year's champion. Okay. Time for the fight for the orb. Proceed to the arena. Begin the final battle. The championship match. In the League of Champions! The Battle of Champions, good sir. Step backwards. Speed up. Come, Ninja Man. Can you defeat us? Mr. Champion Ninja Man. Okay, close enough for a line drum. Ouch. Wow, does Healing Heart just go centered off Paco now and just heal that wider range? That's nice. 
Oh, he's blowing himself up. No, 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 the Dark Knight fight, whatever that Blood Knight is called, or whatever he's called. Because I kept dying to him over and over again, so I figured I'd use a defense up on Paco, the Bitter Herb. And that way, uh, I step back, use the Bitter Herb, take a hit from him, use Lion Drum twice, and that helps Paco survive. So, if you're ever following along with this, use the Bitter Herb. Use the backing up sk skill and, uh... The bitter herb. And congratulations, you're the new hero, the one, the only champion of the arena. Let me do the honors and present you with the ultra fabulous wind orb. Come on now, let's hear it for the new champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paco, you fought especially hard, so I'm going to add this to your prize package as a fabulous bonus! The Toy Ring, yes! For completing this quest as Paco, you get the Toy Ring as a bonus. <clears throat> hey, is that the Wind Orb? Oh, softly blue. It's blue, da boo dee da boo da Once again, everybody! The new champion! Oh, mercy God! Give it up now! Woo! God, this guy's annoying. <laughs> hey, Paco, we we did it. You did it, Paco. We're so happy and proud for you. Good job in the tournament. You definitely impressed me. Yes, your skill is admirable, especially under such difficult cir circumstances. Time to go, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Guardsman. You know, I'm quite surprised that you managed to win the tournament and the orb. Mr. Rocktoll? Roddy Rocktoll? And I'm afraid you must perish to protect my dirty little secret. It's quite sad, but very necessary. No, why? What secret? What are you hiding? Why do you have boogeymen suddenly attacking us? Why do you have six boogeymen? So, you've been killing every champion that wins the orb and stealing it back. Then you enter a phony champion from the year before to cover your tracks. Why, why, why? My dear, with such a sharp mind, it's a pity you have to die. But alas, I have no choice. My, why? Make your peace and say your prayers. It's the beginning of the end for you. <laughs> Oh, okay, he's one of those guys. Sure. Uh... No one really needs any different equipment, even Paco or Kukuru, even though I took the equipment off Kukuru. It's not gonna be a big deal, I think. Now to begin the real battle of Needle, N Needle Arena Tournament Arena Battle. For the Wind Orb. For our lives. For freedom. For sanctuary! Uh, Trigger, just come kill this guy really quick for me. No, you didn't kill him, dude. Come on, how are we supposed to... ...survive if we don't kill this dude? Wind, storm, slash... Come on, go again, you can do it. You can take out this boogie man, you're a better sage than he is. You're sage, he's just a wizard. A man. He's a man. Dead man. He's got good and gone. Man. Oh no! Wind slash me all. Uh, I set up perfectly for that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Just had a little cough. That's all. Oh, this guy's busy wind slashing us all. Come on, you boogeyman in your wind slashes. You're nothing. Gogan does the real damage with Wind Slash. 
Come on, you guys. You can't take us out. We won't let you take us out. We will survive. Everyone survive. Everyone will survive. Yeah. As long as I know how to thrive, we will survive. That's what we'll do. Hey, alright, Tosh leveled up. Always good to get Tosh leveling up. I think he just learned his last move, too. His ultimate technique. Make sure to heal Gogan as well with everyone. Kukuru? Let's get the uh, battle drum rolling. Do support Paco. You've done a lot of battles already with the line drum. You don't really need to do much more battling. You, you can be on support duty for now. Boom. Another boogeyman bites the dust. I do want to get... Um... Okay, it doesn't tell us what level Odon is, or Mofly or Kilak. It just gives us the summoning level of the monster. Which I guess I just realized something regarding the next game. Like I've, like I've said before in this LP, Chandra will drop out of the party and become a NPC, really, that will support the party kind of tactically-wise. But, um... I guess you could say in that game he will level up his summoning pot abilities to a new level, and that's why he's able to have the uh, summoning dudes out without his help. Without his, um, being around them. So that's pretty cool. Just a little spoiler for why I'm leveling up the summoning creatures more so than I am Changara. Because, let's, let's see, oh, this one. Mofly is 21, that's very nice. That's like six levels higher than he starts at. I do want to see what Odon starts at. I don't know what level he starts at. And honestly, at the moment, I can't think of when Odon joins the party in number in Arclad 2. But I would love to... Because Odon's kind of an interesting character, I think. Eh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get to game number two, everyone. Whoa, this guy's breathing fire all over Iga. Uh... Eh, somebody will come up very soon to be able to heal Iga. Summon Odon. Be ready to fight. Crap. Iga just died again. Shoot. He is not performing exactly as intended. He's supposed to be a bulky beast of a man. He is a beast. He goes beast mode. He goes ham. That's pig, not beast. But, uh... He is able to deal out damage right now, but he's not able to take it at the moment. Which is too bad. But he will gain more HP to deal with that, I'm sure. No, Mofly, don't die. Mofly died. The floor fly died. Whoa, Tosh. Never know who's gonna deal out more damage, Tosh or Iga. And when it's all said and done. There, there is a reason, I guess, that, uh, the first time I beat... No, I didn't even beat it then, did I? The first time I got to the end of Arclad 2, I technically only had one person who was any good. Any good at surviving the, uh, game to get to the end of the boss. The end of the final boss. And that was Tosh again. His damage, his survivability, his... Swordsman's skill took him to the end of the game. Took me all the way to the end of the game, but I could not get over that hump and finish the game. So, hold on. You are level 20, that's nice. You have the trans transfer ability. Hmm. 
Or if we want to just physically attack, we can just physically attack with him. That's that's usually a good thing to do for characters like monsters that uh don't have like some kind of breath attack or magic attack. See, like that guy, he just whips out a club and just whacks you with it. Let's get Gogan up a level, take out this boogeyman. Oh, wait, you know what I'm not doing? I haven't done something for a minute. Uh, Changara, get up here. Shoot. I've got to use the picture book. Monster picture book. Definitely always want to be using the monster picture book. I do want to do that, uh, small sub sub quest of the uh of the game hey let's show off odon's transfer ability shape shift into enemy let's transform into the blood fiend hey all right we have done it we are now a blood fiend that's very nice i don't know exactly what it would do for us besides the fact that it's just a physical transformation into the beast itself. I'm not one for shape-shifting abilities, although I do love Nico in League of Legends. Nico is very cute and adorable, and I love her introduction video where she's off, where she's looking at the frog and goes, "Oh, Froggy, hello. You look nice." I like how you do the thing you do, and she goes, the, she does the frog thing. The frog croak. Like, it's amazing that her body can bend in that way. Not to say that that's what's desirable in some fashion, but just interesting and cool. Neat. Okay, we're gonna have Chang uh, Gogan finish off this battle for us, because that Blood Fiend only has 6 HP. This, this Blood Fiend is res very resistant to magic. This should be easily yes. defeatable by now. Yes, success. Successful battle. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, we got the Wind Orb. We survived the battle for the Wind Orb. Boo! That little surprise battle didn't do anything for my heartbeat irregularities. I was scared. At least we've got the Wind Orb, but we still need to find the Wind Guardian. Yes. There must be some connection between this orb and the Wind Guardian. But the question is, what is it? Nothing immediately springs to mind. Well, there's a wind. Well, let me have a gander at your little bubble, boy. Zip. No, not that bubble. Okay, zip. We're spinning the ball. We're spinning the orb. Woohoo! It's like basketball time. Gogan would be a masterful basketball player. Hmm. It seems to have a power within. Behold, the way it vibrates where my staff contacts it. Oh, 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 oops, it's... Ah, Gogan's face! Oh, dear me, how terribly clumsy. I've gone and ruined the blasted thing. Whoosh. Ride the wind, baby. A thousand thanks for releasing me from bondage. Oh, hello, Wind Guardian. You are the first humans I've encountered in more than 600 years. Whoosh. You see, long, you see, long ago, an evil merchant conspired with the dark forces to entrap me so that he could control the wind. Whoosh. He sealed me that orb all those years ago. Whoosh. Controlling the wind while he lived. But I'm the wind. So, you've been trapped in there ever since he died? Correct. Tell me, why are human beings so greedy as to trap me for 600 years? Why? Controlling the wind? The secret was lost as soon as the man died. Since being sealed in the orb, you have seen people kill repeatedly for that worthless blue ball that was my prison. Blue ball? Zip? No, zip that back up. Okay, zip, zip, zip. If you hadn't broken the orb, it might have held me forever. Ugh, oh, what a thought. People's ignorance and greed cause these tragedies. But people can learn. They are not all greedy and thoughtless. 
I see. You'd ask me to believe there are still ones who would deny their greed to seek the truth. Wow, reach out for the truth. Though I remain filled with the doubt, I give you the windstone as a token of my hope that your words are true. Have the windstone. Oh, bye, wind guardian. Whoosh. I am the wind. Oh, thank you for the glasses. The last of the stones are with my brothers, the guardians of water and fire. Seek them out. Well, this has been an episode for me, so I'm going to leave it off here, everyone. I hope you had a good time today, and I hope you take care until next time. I hope you enjoyed our episode today, and leave a like if you like the video, or leave a comment if you want to say something. But anyways, until next time, everyone, take care of yourselves and have fun. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.